Okay, so last track was very successful. Went on for ages. Yeah. I'm gonna suggest we don't go on for so long because she's getting tired. Yeah. Don't forget, she. It's, it's warm. It's not hot, but it is warm. It's about 15 degrees, so 18 degrees maybe. Um, it is the evening. However, she's looking a little bit tired, and let's be honest, she's out of condition. Yeah. Um, like I say, she's a pet and a little softy. So we're going to do a track again, probably the last one. Yep. We were just saying how impressed we were with the breed, that um, the intelligence she had, that when he first left, she didn't follow the exact track. She saw that he went left. Sit. So she went left directly and caught up with him. Be bursted. Right, Stay. Sure Stay. You, you showed her the fish? Yeah. Okay. Girl, so she's, no, she's still pulling. She's still um, interested. Ease. Good girl, what is it? So, last time he kept running. That's why it went on for so long. So he was a moving target. No doubt he was sweating. And it's, that probably helped with the scent. I don't want to wait too long for the scent to go cold because there are other dog walkers out here. And um, I don't want the scent getting crossed. So, do you want it, Loops? What is it? Find, find. Good girl. Okay. Oh, okay, so she's still pulling. She's still into it. That's a good sign. Okay, she's still pulling. No, it isn't to the ground yet, but it doesn't necessarily mean she's not on a scent. See, the scent's up in the air, not just on the ground. She'll check every periodically. Okay, here's the scent. She went off, now she's come back. She got. I can't go through there. Ow! Thorns, spiny. Ow! Girl. Girl, so that was a definite indication. She definitely deviated from the path. Good girl! She got ya? Yeah? Yeah. Good girl! So impressed. Every time. That's three out of three. Yeah. Hasn't failed us once. She was following the path. She dipped her nose, caught a scent, went, oh, on. Oh, sec. He's not on the path no more. Double checked it, came back, found ya. Yeah. Really good. I'm glad you didn't go too far because I'm getting knackered. Good girl! Girl. Best breed ever. In my opinion. So, like I said, she is not trained to be a hunting dog. She is my pet. I've had her for four years, and she's always been a pet. We have played the occasional game, and by that, I mean we've done about four. Four little runs like this in her four years. Um, no, we're coming for the woods. So that just goes to show how natural it is for this breed. Now, she knows my lad, obviously. If I was to ask her to track a deer, I don't know, without training, I don't know. If she was in a pack that hunted, obviously she'll pick it up and learn it from the pack. And she'll know that's what we want. But at the moment, she knows what I want is for her to follow the boy. I'm quite impressed. She hasn't deviated. There are other dogs in here. There are squirrels. Nothing bigger than that, really. Yeah. Obviously, there's badgers and foxes at night who do lose scents. But she knew the scent that she was meant to follow. She followed it, and she got her reward. Yummy sprats. Anyway, I'm going to go now. Um... Again, don't worry about liking and subscribing. It irritates me when I watch videos and they say that. Okay. I'm not bothered about views. I don't get off and all that. I'm just interested in my dog. And if you're interested too, then you'll just follow. And you'll probably subscribe and like and all that jazz anyway. Just um, enjoy the outdoors and look up the breed. And hopefully you can get one yourself. I'm just trying to promote the breed in the UK. Despite being one of, if not the, oldest breed of dog in the world. 
There aren't many here. They're not really well known. In fact, I don't think they were known until 1996 when the breed was recognised. It's still not recognised in the UK. Um, the cousin of this breed is the Norwegian Elkhound, which is obviously a lot smaller, fluffier. Um, but the Swedish Elkhound, the Jamthund, that's it, what we've got here, they've, um, they haven't been pets for long. They've been doing the job they've been doing for thousands of years. Google said 6,000 years. Google also said there was a DNA trace of 32,000 years. And that there's cave paintings of these next to uh, ancient animals. So, who knows? I think this is a foundation dog. I think this is a breed of dog that represents when Wolf left the wilderness and joined man at the campfires and had those scraps of food and that sacred bond of dog and man was formed and that's why I love this breed I found this breed simply by googling what is the closest dog genetically to a wolf without breeding in a wolf so no wolf mixes um, it's not a wolf look-alike where people get like other breeds um, like the ones on Game of Thrones, the Northern Inuits and the Tamascans, they're wolf lookalikes. This still retains some of the wolf appearance, although it has got the curly tail. But sometimes she straightens it out, and when she does that, she does look very wolfy. But her behaviour and um, her mindset is very wolf like. And obviously, she's got that beautiful coat. Not too big, not as big as German Shepherd. Um, I'd say it's comparable to a Siberian Husky, given that this is a female. When we meet other female Huskies, they're generally smaller. Um, she's generally the size of a male, unless you come across like a big male. Um, she's actually larger than some of the female Alaskan Malamutes that we've met, especially when they go in the water and they come out with that fur. That fur goes flat and. They look quite a small then. She comes out and looks exactly the same because her coat isn't puffy. Her coat is close to the body, even though undercoat is um, for Arctic conditioning. It is um, a thermal layer. But the outer coat is more for mud and rain, really. Um, she gives it a shake, it's all off. Really clean dog. Um, I just brush her a little bit ever so often. Um, I don't need to do anything too much. I don't have to take her to the groomers awfully too much. Um, oh, that's Scribble watching us. Uh, she hasn't seen it. Oh, 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 now she has. Okay, so that's the noise she does. That's the noise she makes when she wants to go hunting. She gets excited. She hasn't started barking. There you go. Thank you. That bark, what I was about to say, is... You can hear that throughout the woods. And that's so the hunter and all the other dogs in the area who are hunting whatever they're hunting can find each other. That high-pitched bark it echoes throughout the woods. Now, where we live, there's lots of uh, dogs and you always hear them barking in the garden and yapping and yelping. And She just sits there nice and calm. She doesn't bark loads. Nice and peaceful. Doesn't give me any hassle, even when they're barking. She doesn't respond. Um, but if you come to my door, and she don't know you, you'll definitely know about it. Because she goes on the attack. She is territorial. Um, if she knows you, so when my parents come, she'll give it all that at the door. And then I'll get to sit and they'll come in and that's it. She'll lunge her cuddle attack and she'll cuddle them to death. However... If you're a postman or a workman or just someone who doesn't belong, she's at that door and she means business. And I have to put her away um, because she's territorial, she's protective. It is a good guard dog. She's never bitten anyone, she's never been aggressive and hurt anyone. But um, I have no doubts that she would defend me if I needed to. She is very powerful. I've seen her destroy a whole rabbit, no problem, in a second. I've seen her split 
them breakable bones that you buy at the shop, these nylon things, very powerful jaws and they do the tug and tear so they don't just hold like um like police dogs who are taught to hold and pull down and they're not meant to injure you they're meant to hold you if you get injured that's your fault because you're the one pulling they'll just pull back but what she does is she grabs on and she shakes and she will pull it off she will rip you apart um similar to what the pit bulls do similar to what the um the flock guardian type dogs do they grab on to the perter and they shake and that is the shaking that does the damage oh that's what she does if i gave her a toy now she'd grab it and she'd shake it um but yeah i just think it's the perfect breed small enough to get on my lap for a cuddle albeit she's not very careful when she climbs on um small enough to get in the boot of my car comfortably lie down we go on long journeys she just chills out lies down goes to sleep you won't even know she's there um obviously gotta be responsible if it's a hot day in the car and if you go on long journeys have plenty of breaks but she doesn't cause me any grief whatsoever very calm animal and i think it comes with the confidence this dog is bred with confidence it's say so on my research it's one of the few dogs who won't back down from a bear they're very confident dogs they're very sprightly as well so it's not saying that she would take a bear on she just won't back down but if the bear goes what they do is they just jump about and dodge and dodge dip dive duck and dodge to get away um, there's another dog walker coming out and I don't look like an idiot speaking to my phone so I'm going to go um, and hopefully you enjoyed the video and you took some information and if I'm wrong you know feel free Google do your own research that's why I promote learn yourself self learning and if you find I'm wrong about something yeah let me know but just don't be a dick about it okay out <laughs>